How is up, everyone? And welcome to the final day of the Contingency Contract. This is the last time we'll be in the garbage dump of the Baron Plaza. And, of course, I still need to complete the whole... Area 59, 18 wrist thing. I can do it, but I have been... Stubborn, aiming for higher. But I think I'll probably have to settle for 18 soon. I'll mess around with it a little bit later. I didn't really have much time to play with it. Anyway, so, for this one, we had to do things the way we had done before, and that is, wow, holy shit, <laughs> I need to get Texas out, after all. I thought that I could maybe squeeze through with, ah, man, this is bad, I, I don't, I like Texas, but I, I don't want to deploy Texas this time, because I don't have enough, enough slots. This time, it's everything that is bad about this place, all at once. Not enough DP generation. No casters, so no Ifrit. And just... A whole bunch of badness. Now I can't even use Siege. Oh well. We'll just have to... Do this. And stab dogs to death. And then maybe I can swap to Texas in a bit. You die, die, die. Can't deal with the mage at the moment, so I'm gonna have to hide in the back. Luckily for us, Vigna is a really good vanguard, so we should be able to do it. Well, I say this, but we'll probably end up winning one slip, god fucking damn it. Maybe even more. Come on, can I kill it quicker? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I can't even deploy anything. This is deplorable. Hey, 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 there we go. I have to wait till Texas can activate her final technique. Until then, I can't really do anything. My generation is way too low. This is bad news. Okay, alright, I got it. Alright, let's see who to deploy. Bring out the nun. Yeah, I don't think Vigna could handle another dog. It's just that I don't have enough to heal the nun right afterwards either. This is gonna be really bad news. Alright, got it. Now, I have no choice but to wait and see what I can do here. Maybe I should have picked Myrtle as my second. Yeah, you know what? That's what I should have done. I'll pick Myrtle as my second this time instead of, um, Texas. But then again, I can't... I have to let one dog through. I think that's going to have to be what I do because I just don't have enough DP to generate for this map. Luckily for me, I can still push through for a while because the nun is actually incredibly powerful and the nun can actually hold her ground for a decent while. Let's go. Alright, perfect. Now I just need to wait for Meteorite to come out and then we'll be good. You get Meteorite to come out and... You know what? I'll just have to pull you back too. And uh, go and nuke the map with this. There we go. A lot of extra wasted range, but eh, that's the way things gotta be. There you go. See, this is why I love Meteorite so much. She does so much damage, it's ridiculous. And on the shot... Boom. You die. I don't even need to release the bird cage because this time there's no caster buffs for them. They stuck all the annoying ass buffs in one place that the casters are kind of... irrelevant this time around. So I will be very pleased about this. And now... We can probably squeeze through by just nuking the shit out of all these people coming this way. I mean, this is ridiculous. Look at the damage that Meteorite does. She's good at everything here. This is definitely the MVP of the entire daily contingency contract. She's blowing the shit up. Whether it's the abandoned high rise or this piece of shit place, she doesn't give a shit. She can blow it all up. Now I just need to get that. 
Monty Cora. Come on. It seems like I'm still in good shape. All right, let's drop the Monty Cora here. Here. All right, I think I got this. No problem. And we will mess around with a little bit of Area 59 with the current strategy. I'll even show you how I do it. And then, oh, for fuck's sake. God damn it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Really, you gotta be doing this shit to me at the very end? No, oh, it doesn't matter. It's okay, I got this. Now it's just a matter of blowing the shit up. The fucking asteroid slipping by at the very end. I stab your ass from behind too, because I can. Okay, alright. Got my first try. No problem. It was kind of iffy, but I did it. Mainly because we've already experienced this before. And we know that Meteorite is a great unit. So no matter what restrictions you put on her, it does not matter. All right, now let's go and uh, do a showcase of what I have built up so far for a contingency contract. I, it turns out that I'm missing a whole bunch of fun stuff. It's actually kind of annoying. Uh, let me switch this around. What's my settings again? So this one I have some problems with because uh, there's a number of issues. Maybe it's RNG, I don't know. I haven't done this enough to find out, but I will now swap to... Project Red. I need to work on Project Red a little. At least I have her at skill level 7. And I'll get myself a Momentai. Or maybe I can find someone else's because mine isn't. Oops. Mine isn't maxed out either. It's kind of annoying. Let's see. Fire Emblem Eater. Oh, hey, a Magellan. Magellan would actually be kind of nice. Maybe I'll hold on to that. Because I don't have a Magellan on my own. I'm actually kind of glad that someone else does. But I'll use it for a uh, different setup. I have to use her for a caster setup, not for the um, ground setup. My ground setup is good, but not quite good enough. So I figured out the reason why the old man keeps dying to that horrible mage. It's actually pretty deplorable. I have no idea why, because I overlevel them, but, um, I discovered that the maze just likes to hit you in the melee, and when he does, there's a little bit of extra damage dealt, and that's just enough to burst him down, which is kind of silly, I don't like that. But yeah, the mage is my main source of problem here. And my other source of problem is the um, arm militants. The arm militants, they hit so incredibly hard, it's actually pretty bad. So the crux of the strategy here is that I set up a tank to stop the um, weebs from passing through, but because of the DP generation being the way they are, I have to um, wait a little bit. Alright, so the old man needs to activate a skill in order to defeat the leaves when they're leaking at the moment. There won't be any time, so I have to first summon a nun. And I need to summon the uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. The Arnold will destroy the arm militant. And that is why I left that one slot open, because I don't have enough powerful um, ground guards that can deal with this situation. I don't know why I end up talking so much now. I'm actually in trouble. Fucking shit. Maybe I can pass, but this will be kind of close. I ended up screwing up my timing. Ooh. That's gonna hurt me. Drop down. Sorry, yeah. Sorry, I will. I probably died this time. Sorry, I will have will absorb the shitty mage's attack. Oh, crap. This is troublesome. Let me see if I can't take you out now. Yeah, I, I knew I wouldn't make it. Fuck. 
and I'm talking so much I distracted myself. I prefer this at one time speed because there's a lot of shit I end up having to do with this. I'll do it one more try though because I still haven't confirmed this strategy working out. I may have to use that Magellan that this dude has and um, use a slow strategy. Oh, that's only if he has slow on him. If he doesn't have slow, then I'm shit out of luck. I have to go and try something else. I have literally like one friend with Magellan. It's deplorable. And of course, there's another problem with this strategy. It's that the old man, he doesn't exactly dodge 100%, so... If the weeb were to hit him twice somehow, well, that's troublesome. I mean, it doesn't happen all that often, but it happens. He didn't hit me at all when he was beefed up. And I can't make a single mistake here. This is very action intensive, and I don't like, like that. But that's just the way it is. Alright, 19. Because there's not really a lot of room for me to speed up. If I make a mistake, oops, well, what you saw earlier will occur. But this time I got auto down quicker instead of like last time when I was like, oh, you're blah 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 blah. Fuck myself over. And another problem with this is that I gotta activate the nun's thing early because I need her to uh, get her cooldown started sooner because otherwise, when the next group of armed militants show up, you know what's gonna happen? I'm not gonna have my fucking thing up on time, and then I die. All right, I set up the Monty Koa. Monty Koa will play with that, and sorry, I will have to distract the mage for a little bit of time. All right, now we're going chopping, chopping and chopping and chopping. All right, my next move, I have to let the next weed go through, but after that, I'll be fine. I have to drop down Chen. I'll drop down time to deal with the um, former men. I'm thinking of another setup later, though, if this doesn't work out. One is the caster, and then the other is to uh, set up a whole bunch of blocks to just stop the weeds from coming because they're fucking me up. Alright, now, our militants arriving. They're powering up. Oh, and another important thing, I gotta put down this one now, because I can't block another weave after this. And of course, something I'm not dying. But I think this setup is better with a silver ash. Anyway, so here's how this thing works. I... Oh, fuck, bro, oh, this is bad. I don't know if I can keep that armor, man. Myrtle can actually help heal... Uh, crap, come on. Uh, I don't want to drop this down yet, because I need to. Uh, and then that thing shows up. Okay, this is bad. Fuck. God damn it. Uh, yeah, I needed Silver Ash for that. Uh, yesterday I have a three-source Silver Ash to, to handle this, but then I can't handle the next mob. And then the fucking... Uh, fucking, um... Whatchamacallit? I needed red in order to slow down the armed militants coming. That's the um, idea behind this plan. But I don't have enough good ground forces to deal with them. Because I haven't worked on them. I was thinking maybe the nun could tank through this, but uh, I guess I was wrong. Let's see, what is this? Laser mining module? You piece of shit. God fucking damn it. Alright, well, let's try it with that silver ash. And, uh, three. Preferably one with maxed out. Not just this regular ass one. There we go. See, let's see that. Use this one and I'll try it out again. Yeah, it's these armaments that are fucking me up and I don't have any good ways to deal with them except with uh, Silver Ash for that one. And then afterwards, I needed another one. I just don't have enough character slots. So I might have to um, re reduce the amount of character slots that I need um, that I restrict I don't know. I don't know why I can't do this because I just. I think I just need to change my strategies. 
or just not deal with the uh, arm militant. I should use a week one strategy, to be honest with you, instead of something that is so more week two. It turns out that I'm actually better at week one than I am in week two. But, uh, well, that's what happens when I decide, oh, yeah, I mean, there's plenty of time. I've got all kinds of work I need to do. I better do rules first before I go and play this game. And this is the kind of shit that I get. All right, now I set up Mortal. If I play this right, this will work out. Yeah, chop his ass up. See, I mean, it happens. He does randomly get hits, but not very often. Now, I'm going to use this. I'm put down the nun. Put down this. If Monty Core has a bit more slow, this might be better. It might have been a much better plan, but I don't have enough slow for Monty Core. I haven't gotten enough points for her yet. I, I mean, clearly was not ready for this uh, contingency contract, and it's fucking me up. All right, let's go. Power up. Taking you out. Dropping Saria to distract the mage, because the mage is a piece of shit. If I didn't have to do that, this would have made this a lot easier. But I had to. Uh, yeah, generate more DP and print some DP out. Okay, uh, I got through the first arm militant. Now I need to go and deploy this to slow down the arm militant. Next arm militant, enough for me to generate. And this is M3 too. It didn't work out for M3, and it pisses me off so much. All right, now I'm gonna put down this guy here, and this guy will sweep the field. Including those shitty armaments. Kill them all. Alright, let's go. I gotta drop this now. If I don't, I'm gonna be in serious trouble. I'm gonna chop you up, chop you up, chop you up, chop you up, chop you up. Now here's where I have trouble. I my Xing Xing ran out, and I don't have enough firepower. I can tank the top though; it's not an issue, as you can see. But I don't have enough slots to um, run another. Cast it. I could probably survive this once the caster has been distracted and Saria is focused on healing. Nope, never mind. Shit. Fuck. If I have Tun or someone else who could attack, that'd be nice, but I don't. So that's shit. I needed the red because I um, I learned that. I learned that the next arm militant shows up too quickly for me to uh, generate enough to go into that mode. That was the main problem I had with that setup, and um, that is why I use red. I need to look for a um, guard that could slow down and also do magic damage, but I don't think that one exists at the moment, so I'm kind of boned. I'm not sure what to do. These armaments are fucking me up, and I, I don't know what to do. I have to think of another way. But that's pretty much where I am stuck at at the moment. If it doesn't work, I, I'm just going to have to go and um, try some other setup. Because apparently, no one on my uh, friend list have a Magellan that can slow. Alright, I won't take up any more time with this one. It's This one's mainly for the daily. So, I thank you all for watching. Until next time.